Hello, this is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and very interesting personalities in the world of entertainment. My name is Wayne Salsi Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Oluwa Hey guys, how, how you doing? doing? What's going on? I'm fine. Mm. Now oh, you're fine, like I'm fine. They collected yeah. my bread, but I'm fine. Ah, no, I was just thinking about this morning. Okay. And I wanted to continue sleeping because mm. of the rain. But adulthood do not let you. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. adulthood though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's start with Jesse Smollett's attorney who believes or they believe information about the termination of Chicago Police Department Superintendent Eddie Johnson is key to his innocence and are demanding the paperwork. According to new legal documents obtained by TMZ, Smollett says, as we see millions across the country rise up to protest and expose police misconduct, the city, by its refusal to produce the requested documents, is choosing to actively resist a citizen's lawful effort to reveal dishonesty. End of quote. <sighs> I don't know if we'll get to the point where this case will be over, but it's getting tiring, and I think. And there will be no new development. I mean, this case has been since January 2019, mm -hmm. since last year. Yeah, we have been other forward. things that we are focusing on for now. Mm. So I don't, personally, I don't know if... Um, but why are they refusing to release the paperwork the that he's, or the attorney is asking for? That's my own word. Why, they, why should they release the paperwork the attorney is asking for? Because according to the information they gave, even the um, mayor of Chicago spoke about it, and um, it was dismissed based on the ground that there were a lot of... Um, police brutality, uh, police shooting in Chicago that were not proper. And um, also the high profile arrests, like they were actually going for high profile people. And then the, the most recent one that got him dismissed, they fell asleep behind the wheel of his car. And all of that amounted to him being dismissed. And then the mayor said that at some point, when she asked him about the details of why he fell asleep, because there was no um, breathalyzer being conducted and all that. That when she asked him that why um, did he fall asleep, he lied about the circumstances surrounding. So we are talking why. about Eddie Johnson now. Yeah. Right? So okay. if it's if it, she said so, if he's lied so much, so she doesn't believe he should still be there. And it's just supposed to retire a few months from now. It was mm. supposed to retire and then he got fired. So it has nothing to do with Jesse. No, exactly. Jesse's thing. She, she get not over saying himself. that he's not supposed to be retired or be fired or whatever they did to him. They're saying that they want to see the paperwork regarding their own case. Not about the whole case that he has mishandled or lied about or something. They feel that there was something in that paperwork that will prove that um, the, the police themselves have not been um, honest when it honest. comes to Jesse's case. You know about what Eddie has done or how he has done his case. That one is not just his business yeah. in any way, I guess. For me personally, I'm just tired of the whole drama surrounding this case. We, some people say we don't know the truth. Some people say it's not true. Jesse has kept to his story saying that you actually had a hate crime against him. The police said it's a it's not true. So I'm just and tired of the drama. And a country that has a working law system, I think one year plus is a long time to stand on a lie and mm. nobody have been able to actually slam you real hard to you'd prove that you've been lying. I mean, you'd it's just amazed. weird. How? I just think, you, like, it takes justice denied. is not um, justice delayed. is not justice denied. So, so you think that Jesse is the victim in this story? Mm -hmm. I don't think Jack Jesse, Jesse is the victim. I'm just waiting for right. the law to take its course. I don't think it. He <laughs> thinks Jesse is the perpetrator. Mm -hmm. uh, Why do you think I think so? You've said it over and over on this table. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it plays. Right now, you can't, we can't really say who is guilty anymore because at the same time, the longer it takes, the harder it becomes to prove. But like you said, in a country with a proper working system, then in no time, we'll definitely find out the truth. No matter how long it takes, we will still get to the bottom of this. We will. Yeah. Okay. Um, Reno Omokri blames Nollywood for making the world see Nigerians as fetish people. He said, and I quote, I have been to many African and Caribbean countries. Once they know you're Nigerian, many become weary, not because of 419, but because of Juju. Nollywood has conditioned them to see all Nigerians as fetish Juju people. We did this to ourselves, end of quote. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Because it's, it, uh, it's actually true, okay. to some extent. Mm. Because I, I'm the kind of person that I watch a lot of movies, movies from India, movies from Korea, movies from China. And 
most of the first-hand knowledge I have about those countries and their culture is from what I see portrayed in their movies. Mm -hmm. So now if I'm a foreigner and I say, oh, I want to learn more about Nigeria and I, dis and I stumble mm -hmm. on Nollywood movies, there is no how. I will not but think that Juju is a part of our culture. Because in um, especially if you're watching Yoruba, I'm sorry, yeah, Yoruba yeah, I mean, movies. It's good you've gotten there because for me, single film the Yoruba film, yeah, that I've watched, as in all of them, have just made me agree or come to the conclusion that Yorubas are very fetish. Do now, I don't know if they are like Yorubas. Like now, every what? single yeah. story, even if the story is about the stepmother and the, the, the a boyfriend and girlfriend. A the, 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 the girl will go to the juju to make the boy love her way. So I actually, I, I, I agree with what Reno says. I don't agree with what Reno says a lot of the time, but I agree I think every one. tribe has their narrative in, in the Nollywood so, movie, so. The fetish part is our own narrative. No, no, I said every tribe. I'm speaking okay. about different tribes in Nigeria oh, yeah. have their narrative. So as we have the, um, what's it called now, the Igbo, I mean the Yoruba with the Juju, we have the Igbo with the money rituals, we have the Aosa with the, <laughs> with, the, yeah, with, the with, with the religion and all. You yeah. see them with all of that. So you see almost every tribe telling a different story. So it's, it's what parts, is which, Nollywood, aspect of Nollywood you want to watch and like you and said the, the first that question like almost every aspect of Nollywood has a little bit of fetish practice like I just broke it movie. down I don't see a lot of fetish, fetish in Aosa if I'm watching Aosa Hood or whatever I don't see a lot of <laughs> fetish in it says Aosa <laughs> But, but but you still see all the local stuff like them putting on the you know like they, they call it Kanye Wood. Yeah, Wood. Yeah, yeah, whatever it is, <laughs> Alsa Wood, whatever. So um, I think every tribe has its narrative and it's how you choose to tell your story and it is who is watching the movie. I don't think I would go and sit down now and download a Yoruba movie that has the fetish part. Just say you don't watch your Bible. Exactly, because to be exactly. honest, it's almost all, all, all of them. them. All my dear. Every, almost every mm -hmm. single one has an like element of blood sacrifice, well, something um, sacrifice. But there's to be honest, there's, like there's truth in what. Um, or then Renner. they become ghetto if they are not doing that. There's it's, always it's, something. It's violence, ghetto, that's their lifestyle. But, but um, there's truth in what Reno is saying. Like, I think we said this when we're talking about the uh, money rituals part, and we said that Nollywood has a hand in it. I, yeah. I can't remember who said it, it I think. Oh, we also talked about it during yeah, the rape, fashula, culture, yeah. rape culture as well. Yeah. 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 There's so many things. That yeah, there's so many that. things. So it, it's the part you, you to choose to see. Even American movies, you can say it shows you gangsterism. It shows you mm. um, the different things to it. It shows but I you think that Nollywood has actually drugs, moved drug beyond abuse this and all thing. That. Like there are, they are the, the Nollywood that we are celebrating now, I don't think are they, they are there I to portray. I watch the what's it called, Living in Bondage, even though it's a sequel, it's still the same. It's a money. sequel exactly. now. Living in Bondage is a sequel. It's a so sequel. You, can't you cannot, really, they cannot, you cannot take it away, away totally. The, no. the story. I beg you, I still watch them. Which one recently? Which There's one, 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 one new. Ah, what's that movie called? There was still a lot. There was still King fair. of Boys. No. Was that fair? Can you King of Boys? Was it yes, was it was even in King, King of Boys. Yeah, it was in fetish, yeah. King of yeah, Boys. Was a, it wasn't really fetish. Like shooting and it's not in Chinese, yeah. all those things. It's yeah, and, and it also happened in Sugar Rush. Ah, Sugar Rush. Okay, so I can't Thank win you. this one. I was trying to help my people, yeah, but it's not so, working. So we have a guest. So even in the mm -hmm. new ones, you still find it there. So yeah. it's part of it's part of our culture. Let's just tell stories uh, of the it human is part of our culture. Accept okay. it. We're Africans. Okay. Okay. If you can't do, it's not part of my own it. culture. Me too. Anyway. It is not part of my but culture. But moving on, um, we have a guest um, all the way from Ghana. I think if will do the introductions better. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh come on. Why would you put me on the spot like that? Okay, award-winning singer, mm -hmm. German raised, mm -hmm. okay, Ca Cameroonian born, mm -hmm. Cameroonian mom, mm -hmm. <laughs> German dad, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tinia. Am I correct? Hi, Cameroon Tinia. Tinia. Hi, Tinia. nice to meet you. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good to have you. I love your hair. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay, so what's been going on with you, music, and um, the lockdown? Um, the lockdown was kind of surreal for me, but um, naturally already kind of an introvert. So I was just like, okay, I guess I'll just stay home and continue making music. 
okay, the world is going to continue either way. Um, so it didn't really affect me like that. But when I finally realized at some point that I can't really go out, then it started bothering me. Then I was like, okay, I need to go out. I want to go out. Um, kind of, it's unfortunate for artists, you know, shows have been canceled and all my plans of doing this and expanding my fan base over there and going over there and going, oh, that was canceled. So I just had to like, go back to the drawing board and completely change strategy and try and figure out how I can reach more people without geographically and physically moving around. Mm -hmm. So this kind of made me tap into other sides of my brain to kind of figure out how to move from here. Overall, it's been an experience. And uh, I don't know if, if, if um, I should be happy to say, damn, I experienced 2020 in like 10 years, or I should be like, I wish I never took part in that this year. I don't know. I'm still in between. How do you guys feel? I don't know. For me, I know 2020 is cancelled, but exactly. <laughs> if uh, it's, it's not cancelled yet, man. Anything can still happen. Uh -huh. December may be the month mm -hmm. to cash out. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. So, um, Tania, you're signed to a Nigerian record label. Um, aristocrat yeah. records right. right so how has that been for you like exploring nigeria and getting time to a nigerian record label how has it changed your dynamics of music are you trying to do something more viable for nigerian audience or are you still sticking to what you know how to do best i think it's very important as an artist to remain as authentic as you can no matter um um, what territory you're trying to, some people call it conquer, no matter what market you're trying to penetrate into, just focus on being yourself and being original. I make African music, I make music that appeals to, that is um, influenced by Africa, by my culture, by my experiences here. So that never really changes whether I go to South Africa or Nigeria. It will only change if I work with maybe producers that are on the other end of the spectrum. Um, so that hasn't really changed. Working with Aristocrat Records has been really great because it's given me an opportunity to learn a lot. And it's always good for an artist to have, you know, um, a team that is on the same page and dedicated to um, one vision, which I'm lucky to have because, you know, we're all on the same page. We all know what we want mm -hmm. and we're just going for it. So definitely a great experience for me. So any features, no. because I know you have some very dope rappers in, in your record label, like Bukado, like Mujid, and the rest of them. Any features coming up with any of your label mates? No, I don't have any features currently speaking. Uh, the, the, the releases I've put out so far are all singles. Um, but the next, um, my next single is going to be with a feature. That's going to um, give me a surprise to my, to my followers and the people that love my music. And uh, yeah, but in my unreleased catalog, I definitely have a lot of features with Ghanaians, uh, Ghanaian artists, Cameroonian artists, mm -hmm. um, Nigerian artists, and internationals. So, okay. so I um, can't wait to release everything. I just want to put it back to back. <laughs> you know, if you were me. Yeah. So um, Tini, I'm very, very curious about something. If you had the opportunity to collaborate with one African artist. Which African artist would that be? And why? Uh, and why? That is so tough for me because I grew up listening to so many different kinds of acts. And I look up to so many different kinds of people because they each inspire me in their own way. I can't, I really can't pinpoint. I can give you maybe a list of three artists that I would love to work with currently. Yeah, that was smart girl. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to bomb bridges. <laughs> I really love to work with. If I had to pick someone from the older generation, I would pick Rishabuna because he is he has really changed a lot in the game when it comes to Cameroonian music, putting Cameroon on the map. Um, he has worked with Quincy Jones. He's worked with all the greats, Manu Di Bongo all the greats. So that is one person that I really look forward to learning from and working with. Mm -hmm. I love to work with One Day Cool because, mm -hmm. man, his melodies are mad. <laughs> and he, he comes up with them so quickly and I love his energy and I really love to work with him. Um, who else? Oh. Just one more. Tofu. 
It's really tough. In Ghana, who would I love to work with? In Ghana, I would really love to work with R2Bs. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, that, that's right? a cool lineup, actually. Yeah, actually, very, that's very my cool. Top, that's not my top three, though. That's not my top three, though. So, I what, mean, are your top three, three, what are your top three African artists? You guys are putting me on the spot. Let's just, Richard Bonin. Top three. Stop. <laughs> Stop. 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 There are too many amazing artists. I would love to work with uh, Rihanna, Seth, but she's not African. She's yeah. Caribbean. Um, Richard Bonat, can we stick to that? That's OG now. Who doesn't want to work with you? Okay. Thank you for drinking tea with us, and we'll be looking forward to everything you're dropping soon. But we won't let you go until you give us a quick freestyle. Oh. Yeah. Which one? Which one are you listening to? Which one are you feeling right now? A low battery. Low battery. Mm hmm. No, my chi, that's what you're feeling right now. Yeah. Okay, that's very different from what a lot of people say. Make you not call my name, because I don't want no trouble. Every day they call my line, baby. Make you not boss my bubble. Cause I don't even want to know whatever you want to tell me. Martinini Nagada, I love this, your sweet talking. Cool down, just stop. I want you lost. This is your fault. I'm tired, my love is finished tonight. A battery don't die. But most people want me to, oh, every time I get this opportunity, they always want me to sing Julie, Julie which is yeah. the latest thing that I put out. So if you can, check it out. Check out my music. Follow my social media platforms. And look out for what's coming out next, because I will blow you away. Thank you. We're it's blown nice away already. Thank it's you. amazing drinking tea with us. Time. Thank you. All right. All right, bye. Tea time continues right after this break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I deceive them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now? <laughs> <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dull, everybody feeling all right. Bye. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Mm. Akpala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back, this is TOT Time on Plus TV Africa. I no even get album or EP, and this is coming from Techno, as he reacts um, to ranking ahead of Whiskey and Bonavoy on a recently released um, YouTube views statistics. So, Davido was number one, followed by Techno, then Bonavoy, Whiskey, and Sinatch. This mm. Sinatch is busting everybody's bubble no, somehow. I'm actually not surprised about <laughs> Sinatch. But it's okay. Not so she's killing it in the US. Why she's she killing it? it in the gospel scene. Just, yeah. Yeah. Our way maker has gone like, I'm it's sure even like song. places where she did not even expect mm. that's really gone far. But it's surprising to see the techno at that um, number be. two position because yeah. um, he had um, a really rough was it a couple of years and then mm. he came back with that interview and has been doing some things low key and all. So I, I, I would not have even thoughts of seeing him on the list at all techno is one of those artists that they they just do their thing they're in their lane it's more like they're not in a competition with anybody mm -hmm. but they, they keep winning and whenever they drop music it's always good music like i haven't heard a whack techno song i don't think i think it takes his time to drop his music feels like nimi's <laughs> nimi no i haven't like heard it. a whack no no <laughs> maybe there is i'm not saying there is no whack techno song okay. i mm -hmm. said i haven't heard one mm -hmm. so maybe 
maybe there is one, but I haven't just heard it. But mm. um, I think it's just one of those artists that puts a lot into his craft. And then Tekke saw, is very talented. Yeah, yeah. and then we saw what he did. He's a producer. We saw what he did with Eve because he produced Eve for David Doe mm -hmm. as well, and mm -hmm. um, it's rumored that he actually wrote that song as well. So and he gave it to David Doe, like he sold it to him. So if he did that, then we know that for sure Techno is really, really talented and. It just shows that no matter what you go through, you can always still be the best at what you do. Above, yeah, yeah, you should I rise think, above it. I think nobody doubts Techno's talent. Mm -hmm. But if we want to talk about like superstardom, like how popular you are, or if we are talking about the Afrobeat artists, the people that they mostly mention, Davido, Biskid, Bonaboy. But we'll make it to top five. No, but, but, you, but you know, I Techno don't, was, I don't think techno was actually techno will make in it that mix until, before what happened happened and then he had to just stay away from the media Even and everything. With what happened, was, we have to list top five Nigerian artists. He was on top five artists. at the time. So you don't think he's still on top five? Personally, right now, no. Um, I don't think so. Let's be fact. Whiskey, wow. Davido, Bonaboy. Who's next? Kiss Daniel. Daniel. People put Daniel. Kiss Daniel. Kiss Daniel. 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 Yeah. Top five. Mm -hmm. Telling you the truth. Like if you're looking at huh. airplay over yeah. the past airplay. few years. To be honest, if you want to look at airplay over the past few years, if you're looking terms. at Nigeria, I'm talking about, airplay, I'm talking talking about, about talent. I'm talking talent. about talent. I'm not talking about talent, talent. now. And I've already if said that talent, when it comes to then talent, we'll nobody is doubting techno, techno forward expertise. before you start talking of a. I mean, I don't know how before many instruments Bonaboy is. I'm talking about superstardom. I'm talking about how popular you are or how large your fan base is. That's why I'm actually very surprised about his views. But I guess at the end of the day, Talents would speak well like for you. You guys don't know the amount of these spanners. If baby Pana, that song alone has Nobody is arguing that he is not talented. That's not the point. The point is that when you want to look at the uh, what's that? The mass market now, the mass co mass media. Mm -hmm. What who they would want to listen to? Now, Amali will even come in before you before, start talking of techno. Before you think of techno, because he's he's not I'm been in I'm our faces for a while. Radio airplay now. Yeah. Talking about the songs that are being so played that, every single what day it is, on radio. But is techno talented? No, yeah, nobody can take that away from him. He's that super away from talented. Him. And that is cockroach dance, you know. Maybe because I'm an OG, <laughs> but I'll listen to techno before oh, I listen to Naramali. Oh, please. Since when? Oh, all the while please. we've been arguing, all the while we've been arguing Naramali on this table and talking about Zlatan movement. Have you ever, in that conversation, Zlatan said, have you movement. forgotten about, yeah, about uh, techno? techno? What happens? The, because he's in the news yes, now. Like, you're you're, you're no, a real OG. No, there's no point bringing there's it up no when we're talking about we bring, up, we bring, we bring up Whiskey when we're talking. We bring up Debbie when we're talking. Whiskey that's consistent. Is but techno is not consistent. Eh? Whiskey, look, mm. whiskey can be placed in any category. Can you Name imagine? it. Whiskey can, can enter. Can yes, whiskey you is that great. Your stand, <laughs> it is that great. Me. What is happening next year? <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, Please leave whiskey out of this. Uh, yeah. Shout out to techno. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Continue, shout, no. out to techno. shout out to techno, man. He's one of the greats for real. Like I really respect the guy. And anyway, of course, we respect him, and I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter to WhatsApp Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Nimi Dekombi and Ife Oluwa Shunkaye, and the that's entire me. production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <laughs>